Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier and in my this particular video, I am going to show you one example visualization of gradient descent concept which is very powerful and widely used concept in machine learning and deep learning. Okay, so in my previous video, I have already shown you the visualization of gradient descent using our data points in two dimension where we have tried to fit one straight line in our data point. Okay. Now, in this, in this particular example, I have taken one quadratic equation, okay, f of x1 comma x2 equal to 5x1 square plus x2 square plus 4x1 x2 minus 14x1 minus 6x2 plus 20. So, basically, function of two variable and we will try to find out the minimum of the function f using gradient descent, okay, and we will visualize this. So, what we have done, just recall. In our gradient descent for finding out best fit straight line just we have taken derivative with respect to m and c and we have tried to update m and c respectively uh, in each iteration okay same thing we will do here first of all we will take partial derivative of this function with respect to x1 so direct del x1 equal to this 5x x1 square derivative will be 10x1 x2 square derivative with respect to x1 will be 0 4x1 x2 derivative with respect to x1 is 4x2 so that i have written here minus 14 x1 derivative with respect to x1 is minus 14 and this particular x2 term and this constant will come out at a 0 when we will take derivative with respect to x1 right similarly if you take derivative with respect to x2 variable you will be getting 2x2 because of this term x2 square because 5 5 x1 square will be 0 because x1 is constant when you are taking derivative with respect to x2, right? Then 4x1 x2 derivative will be 4x1 and this term will come minus of 6x2 derivative with respect to x2 will be minus 6. This minus 14x1 and 20 will be treated as constant and as a result, the derivative result will be 0 because the derivative of constant is 0, we know, right? Now, what we can do, we can uh, make some random initial guess uh, for x1 and x2 like you can take 0 or anything according to your choice as I have shown you already that whatever initial guess you choose does not matter our updation formula that is x next equal to x previous minus of eta into gradient will adjust accordingly and eventually it will lead to the minimum point right so no need to worry much about the initial guess and we will use this gradient for updating x2 okay so the code can be simply written like this only 14 line code using clc clear closer warning off okay if you want you can ignore these lines also then initial random guess for x1 i am taking minus 10 and same for x2 then i am taking 50000 iteration and each time i am using the formula x next equal to x previous minus of eta into minus of eta into gradient okay so x1 equal to x1 minus eta learning rate i have taken 0 0.001 into this term this term is what this term is nothing but del f with respect derivative of f with respect to x1 that is 10 x1 plus 4 x2 minus 14 here as you can see 10 x1 plus 4 x2 minus 14 right then uh, this term we are taking for updating x2 that is our second variable okay x2 equal to x2 minus 0 0.001 into 2x2 plus 4x1 minus 6 this one we are getting from here 2x2 plus 4x1 minus 6 right and end this then after the complete uh, 50,000 iteration uh, I hope we will get our x1 and x2 value corresponding to which we will be getting our minimum value of the function so display x1, uh, display x2 and I am executing the function value for that point which will give us minimum value of the function and I am showing that also. So control A and evaluate selection I will do. I will just go to command window. I will be getting three values. Okay. So this is my x1, this is my x2 which almost close to 1 we can say and the minimum value of the function is almost 10 we can say approximately. Right. So this is what about simple gradient descent but we need to visualize this so just some more extra lines we need to add the code i have written here no need to worry about single line of the code i will be posting all the codes in the description box okay so what i have done here clc clear closure warning off and then i am doing surface plot of my original function 5x1 square plus x2 square plus 4x1 x2 minus 14 x1 minus 6 x2 plus 20 which is yeah, 5x1 square plus x2 square 
plus 4 x1 x2 minus 14 x1 minus 6 x2 plus 20 right so that's what i am taking here okay then f surf is used for surface plot where our variables are x1 and x2 fg that is the function which we want to plot and here i am giving the range for first variable also for first and second both variable range given from minus 10 to 10 okay then i am giving pause 8 so that uh, it will make one pause in executing the below part of the code and giving hold on so that we can plot the data point um, for each iteration on the same surface okay which we have drawn here okay then doing initial case and this particular part is same like earlier okay no need to think about a single line just if you understood the previous code same thing i have done just one extra line i have added plot three because this is three dimensional plot so instead of plot we need to apply plot three okay x1 x2 fg and pause 0 0.01 i am giving for animation purpose and display i am doing here you can ignore this for visualization purpose now what we can do Control A and perform evaluate selection. I will be getting my surface plot quickly. I will just make this bigger, rotate that so that we can visualize this properly. Let me make this surface plot like this. You can see this is our actual function, how beautifully MATLAB visualization is working. And here our, this particular black uh, data points are basically our function value taking in each iteration we are doing 50,000 iteration that iteration value it is taking okay now you can feel one under uh, one concept that if this is my function in three dimension the uh, minimum point you can understand that the valley part is arriving here how beautifully where from where we have started that is minus 10 comma minus 10 which is point here where the function has very high value from there it is gradually decreasing and going to the minimum okay so this is the beauty of our gradient descent algorithm it is used to mean such the minimum of our function and i hope you can visualize this right see it is gradually going to the uh, minimum or valley part of our function right see this is our function just you can go here and click on rotate 3d and you can just move your mouse pointer and you can visualize the rotation effect in all uh, direction okay see it is gradually going to the uh, center part okay so this is what about gradient descent visualization what i can do i can pause the iteration and here i can give small pause 0, 0.0 maybe 8 i can give so that we can visualize once more how beautifully it is going to the valley part from maximum how gradually it is going to the minimum part okay see this is our function we are starting from this point see our gradient descent is gradually taking our function leading to the uh, minimum point okay and uh, obviously to run the whole code it will take some time uh, uh, to reach the exact uh, valley or exact point of minima okay so you can just simply uh, remove the pause to make the execution faster okay this this pause i have given just to show you the visualization okay so i hope you have understood this this kind of visualization you can um, implement in matlab take some random function of two variable or maybe higher dimension okay and apply the same concept and play with it and have fun okay so this is all for my this video thank you for watching